The Lord loves jazz musicians, drunkards, and ministers. That's the reason they can all get along so well. Thank you. <laughs> you don't go to clubs with preconceived ideas. Say, now I'm going to go down there, and this is going to be an evangelism campaign for me. And so you simply open your, yourself up to opportunities that may present themselves, and then you simply respond to that the way it is. To the phone, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah. After the cameras. Yeah, okay. After the cameras are going back there. Hi, very good. Nice to see you. Very nice to see you. And it seems to me that I must plant the seed or have the Lord plant the seed through me and hit people where they are. Plus the fact that I love jazz and I, and I get all this free jazz. It's wonderful. <laughs> That's a song in your heart. You know, someone says, how in the heck can you be a pastor to the jazz musicians when you don't know anything about music, you don't know much about jazz? I mean, how can they relate to you, you know, when you talk to different languages? I said, well, I'm a pastor. And we all have needs for pastors. We all have needs for that kind of fellowship and that kind of relationship. The other thing, I had worked very hard in Holland. No, I you, I know. I had a social break. Everything was running here and there and all business. But and it was I just got too back, much, right? It was really too much. I had to slow down. Right. So I had to remain in the hospital for five days. Tell me a little bit about when I see him, I said, oh, goodness, I know everything is going to be beautiful. See, I don't get a feeling that, uh-oh, here he comes. I might hide my vodka and grapefruit juice. But I never felt that way. He's for real. That's what I can say. He's for real. You can touch him, too. But remember you, me telling you how depressed I was when I had gotten back, now right. with no money, right. and all upset and nervous because I didn't know what I was going to do next after I had finished my engagement with Barbara. Yeah. I remember that, yes. But things are uh, beginning better, to work out. We have a spiritual contact that's even deeper than words. Right. I went and I made, I had communion with I you. I remember, I remember. Up at the new office. Well, sometimes you don't have to say much, do you? No. You know, just so the fact that, that uh, we're together and we're present means a great deal.